We are in Karatha. We have got the most vulnerable children in our country, along with the most affluent. So there's everybody here. At the start of the innovation project, we were looking at STEM for our school and how we can move forward with that. And we were also looking at improving the outcomes for our Aboriginal students for their education. Children really love engaging with their natural environment and our Aboriginal students, all of them, they have this knowledge of the land and this knowledge that when you ask them questions, they are so excited to share and they come alive when they're invited to do so. So the Innovative Partnerships was all about using STEM and the natural environment especially to really capture that engagement. We realised that pulling kids out of a classroom for standalone, like once a week type intervention wasn't working and we wanted something different. Chicken! Chicken! So we thought, let's make a class. One laugh, make one sound. Just from viewing the kids in the past and ethnographic research of our students, we know that they like hands-on. We know that they like to be outdoors. And it's all the connections and the relationships that will make them more engaged in class. I've got a pull there, then it's gonna come out here. We just created a small class. There was 20 students in the class. Uh, we had low attendance, we had low academic performance, but then we had some really uh, high flyer kids. Oh, good job. So our day is structured with literacy and numeracy in the morning and the middle session. We do direct instruction programs, so they are all catered for the needs of the children, so they're at their level. And then in the afternoons we branch into the STEM where they get a chance to create. So you might have a few mountains up here. Just find it interesting. Yeah, and fun. You're learning and working at the same time, but a little bit of fun as well. You must be quiet. Alongside of that, we also are giving the students opportunities to connect with people in jobs, so they, they might be thinking about career opportunities for themselves later on in life. I can see another one. Getting the amount of feedback that we're starting to get, especially to see how um, engaged their kids are, I suppose that's the surprising, the amount which has been wonderful. I've seen a big improvement since being here at Bainton. Michaela is even confident now. She's like, she's up before me in the morning sometimes. She's ready and she said, Mum, I'm ready for school. And she never ever says, I don't want to go to school. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of successes with the whole program. So there's the success from a school perspective in that our staff are now teaching STEM as an integrated subject. And also just the growth in the students, academically, socially. Uh, personally. It feels like home, like I just feel like safe. Seeing them now pursuing STEM activities after school, joining STEM clubs, just watching these kids grow and, and what they can achieve. You know, I, I'd like to follow their journey because I think they're amazing. They've worked hard. Definitely glad that we were a part of the innovation partnership. You actually have to do something a little bit different uh, to, to make these gains, to close this gap. It's a real sense of we are a part of community and that's really, really important that we're involved and not seen as separate, but then the kids start to see I'm a part of the bigger picture. Coming to school actually leads me on to what I can do and contribute back when I grow up. <laughs>